In this lesson, I will show you how to create a file, save a file and how to open an existing file. To create the file, you can go to file, then new or from here directly you can create a new file or if I press Ctrl N in my keyboard, it will open this window to create my file. In SOLIDWORKS, you can create three different type of file, part, assembly and drawing. If I want to create a part file, I have to select this or if I want to create an assembly file, I have to select this or for drawing this file. For now, I want to create a part file, so I will select a part file and then press OK. This is my new part file. Inside this, I have to create my part. Then I have to save this file. To save it, I can select this icon or I can go to file, save as or I can press Ctrl S to save it. Now I will go to number 5 folder. Inside this I want to save it. I will save it. Now I will close it. Now if I go to file, you will see at the top in the recent document it is showing save.sld prt which is part file. If you want to know the location, you can select it here. Let's say I want to open some existing file, so I will go to open from here or from here. I will go to 04 folder. Inside this we can see we have two part file, one assembly file .sldasm, that means this is assembly file. I will select this and it is showing me with the preview on the right hand side. If you want to see this, you have to select this. Then it will show you the preview. Now I can open it, it will open that assembly file inside SOLIDWORKS. This is one way to open the file. I will go to open again. This time I will open it but at the bottom you can see quick filter. Part, assembly, drawing and top level assembly. Let's say in your directory you have 50 part and 10 assembly. If you want to see just only parts, not assembly or drawing or any other file, you have to select this first option filter parts. If I select it, it will show me only parts. If I select assembly and part both together, it will show me part and assembly only, not any other file. Let's say inside it there are some imported part I want to open in SOLIDWORKS, let's say STP format. In that case, I will go to this drop down menu, from here I will select all files. Then if you have any STP format or any parasolid format or any other file type, it will show you here. Let's say I want to open a drawing file. If I select it, I can see there is nothing, no drawing file inside it. Last one is top level assembly. Let's say you have one assembly and two sub assembly. So if I select it, that time it will show me total three assembly file here. But if I select only this option, first I have to uncheck this then I will select only this option. In that case, it will not show you any sub-assembly file. It will always show you top-level assembly file. So I will select this assembly, then press open. If I want to close the file, I can cross this here. Or if I press Ctrl W in my keyboard, I can also close this or file, then I will press close.